welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I made my Ange Woman cosplay. I don't really have any progress photos or time lapses because those were on my phone that got stolen a couple years ago, but I still think that the walkthrough might be useful. I'm going to go through every piece and exactly how I made it. So I'm going to start off with the helmet. Um, this whole thing, at least the base, is made out of 5mm craft foam. I used a Camille cosplay pattern. It's like the whole, the whole helmet one and I uh, modified it so that the glasses are anyway, so that it just goes over my nose like this. The detailing on the front is done in two millimeter craft foam that I also patterned using the same like camo pattern but obviously just the parts that I needed and then I barged everything together. These are little wooden nobules that I got at the thrift store. These are made out of two millimeter craft foam the whole helmet has wire glued in so that I can kind of control um, like where it sits on my head, if that makes sense. <laughs> also, all of the feathers have wire glued in so I can kind of control like how the, the feathers sit too. Um, the feathers, I made a little feather pattern for and then I flipped them over and did the same thing on both sides, but I cut um, the notches out in different spots on both sides so that it looked a little bit more organic. I glued everything together with barge cement and then I heat sealed everything, primed it all in plastic dip and then I spray painted this silver. Then all of this right here is like a gunmetal acrylic paint and then I also use the same paint to go in along the edges to add a little bit more depth. The, these wings are painted with like an iridescent white paint, it's like pearly and then I did silver along the middle. Oh this is hot glue like the this the there's a word for it. The center of the feathers is hot glue. And then I also tipped the edges in like a pink iridescent paint as well. Um, it attaches to my head via magnets. I have magnets on craft foam that slide into the wig. And then I position it on my head and it goes whoop, 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 whoop. Now the cowl, I think that's what you would call this. I literally made like a bulb. I patterned like a bulb. <laughs> and I made like a ski mask, just like a white one, and pulled it over my head. And what I did, this probably wasn't very safe, like cut a little mouth hole in it while I was wearing the fabric. And I just cut around the face until it was like the right um, like shape around her face. Cause it like comes up over her chin and then like all along the sides of her face and then up. Um, and then I also did the same thing with the neck. I just cut it where I thought it was supposed to be. The thing that sucks about this though is that there's like always makeup on it because how are you supposed to get this over your face once you're wearing makeup? Like, impossible. Why would they do this? Why do you do this? But yeah. <laughs> so I think like in a couple of my shoots I've had to like edit out the makeup. I just like throw it in the machine. Like I just machine wash it but like it keeps getting stained so. Yay. Every time somebody comments on one of my pictures, can you see out of that? I like lose faith in humanity. You think I have x-ray vision? No? Shut up! <laughs> the con when you need to inevitably walk around, since it's magnets, you can just be like, boop, and you can see. Flip it back down for pictures, flip it back up to walk, flip it back down for pictures. So the glove is just a glove. Um, it's used with the, I, I made it with the same Mystique fabric that I made the rest of the cosplay with. I literally just made a turkey pattern glove and then used a stretch stitch. And these are little wooden pieces that I got at the craft store. I painted them silver and I east 6,000 them into a triangle on hand. Um, the brace, the wings are like a little bracelet that closes on the inside of my wrist. This is just two millimeter craft foam with four millimeter craft foam wings that I patterned and then I uh, sealed it, primed it, and then painted it with an iridescent white paint. And then I bar cemented the Velcro on this side and sewed the Velcro on this side. And it just goes like, it's like hard to put on by myself, but it just goes on the inside of my wrist like this. So yeah, this glove is just like a super long glove. It goes all the way up to my armpit and it's just a turkey glove. There's nothing special about it. Um, then I put the this like 
this. And it just velcros on the inside like this. And this needs to be bar cemented together because you will whack your little wings on literally everything. Just like, literally just like, they need to not be able to move. They need to pretty much just, they're never gonna move. <laughs> so yeah, it's just like that. So the straps, there are four straps total for this cosplay. There's two that go around your midriff and two that go around your thigh. Um, the two that go around the midriff, um, one of them I measured under my boobs where my rib cage is, and then one of them went around like the smallest part of my waist. Um, they're just like black straps that I finished on both edges. I didn't even make tubes. And then um, these are like curtain O-rings. I use them for everything that just needs basic O-rings but um, they were gold and I painted them silver and these are just little rivets that went through. So there's two of these and they close in the back with those plastic um, side release buckles. So they're like it's sturdy. It's better than Velcro if it's like someplace that um, isn't visible. So yeah, let's go in the back. And then for the two thigh ones, I made like actual belts that buckle and unbuckle because my thighs change sizes and sometimes like in the middle of the cotton day, they just get a little stretched out, so you need to pull it in one. Um, yeah, they just buckle and unbuckle like this. And those, it's the same, it's the same way that I use the other ones, except I had to finish like the edge, obviously, to make it look like a real belt. And they're just made out of like a black, very slightly stretchy faux um, leather that I had sitting around. The shoes were my favorite part to make because both of the shoes are different. I'll start with the right shoe. So this one, um, I just made a bunch of, I made like a little pattern for like a scale feather thing. That's what I called them because they didn't really look like feathers, but they didn't really look like scales either. So I made a pattern and I just made like, I don't know how many, like 60 or so of these, like little, oops. Um, and then I made them out of two millimeter white craft foam. I put like hot glue down the center to make add a little bit more dimension, make them look a little bit more feathery. And then I sealed them and painted them all with that pearlescent white paint that I used on this like whole cosplay. I glued them all on with barge cement. So none of these have like budged, like they're all where they need to be. And I glued them starting this way so that I could layer them with this one being last one glued down. And I used a pink um, glitter spray and I like went along the bottom of the shoe. And then for the cuff, I made like a little cuff mock-up and I then, when I got the pattern that I wanted, I made, I put it on interfacing and then I covered the interfacing with this Mystique white um, spandex I used for the rest of the cosplay. I sewed on a gold trim and then what I did was I glued it onto the inside of the shoe, the top of the inside of the shoe, and then I just folded it over literally like a cuff. Like this. And then I also glued some of the trim like right here where the V is. Also, these boots are just plain white like ankle boots that um, somebody bought for me off Amazon. And then for the second boot, the first thing I did was I just painted the platform and the heel black all the way around. Um, and then I cut out a zipper sized like notch all the way down. And then I glued a partial zipper all the like on both sides all the way down and I also glued the back of the zipper so it doesn't um, fray because this isn't like the actual top of the zipper and then after I glued the zipper in I made another strap like this pretty much just a mini version of the ones that go around my midriff with a little mini o-ring and the rivets and then I like glued it down into this spot on the shoe because that's where it goes it's like across the top of the foot and then for the anklet so I used 10 millimeter Ava foam um, floor mats with the five millimeter Ava foam as the edge. I got it this perfectly circle by taking the foam and rolling it onto itself like this and then uh, using heat on it. So then when it came undone, it was, uh, it was pretty round already. And then I dremeled the edges. This is all barged together, of course. And then I used a wood burner to uh, do all the runes, then I heat sealed it, sealed it with plastic dip, and then I painted everything gold, used brown to do the detailing, and then for 
this part for how it closes, it's just pieces of Velcro barged onto the very edges and you just put it around your anklet and it's big enough you can get it around your anklet and then it just goes whoop and it like sets like at the edge of the shoe like this when it's once it's on your body. So this was probably like the most interesting part of the cosplay to make was the boa. Um, so it's like such a weird piece. So I wanted it to be long enough where it like arcs over my head and then it rolled around my arms once and then the, the feathers like almost hit the ground or they do hit the ground if my arms are down. So I'm five foot seven for reference and the length from the start of the tube, not where the feathers are, to the, the end of the rest of the tube is 128 inches. Um, so how I made this was the center is like an upholstery foam and I glued wire down both sides of the foam. Um, and there is about a foot and a half at the, uh, at the edge of the upholstery foam that I didn't glue the wire down so that it's fluidly at the ends. Um, but having the two pieces of wire uh, makes it so that I can kind of uh, manipulate like how it's shaped like around my body. Um, and then I, I sewed a pink tube and then I slid the skeleton, this, like the, the foam skeleton, through the pink um, fabric. I used a cotton, I would have used a satin, but I already had this pink cotton laying around. I was like, why not? There's these bra strap things sewn into the foam and it's so that I can like wear this and it won't move. It's like a reverse backpack almost. So I stick my arms through this way and it goes, um, it's supposed to go like all the way up like this. And so what it does is like this boa thing, like um, it like rests on your shoulders, which it'll cover your wing harness too. So yeah, it's like this. And I have like, um, I don't think you can see it on camera, but it goes above my head, like well above my head. So, and then you just wrap it around your arms and then it dangles and it's, it's great. <laughs> but yeah. And then the runes I hand embroidered on. If I were to redo this now, I would use my Cricut to just cut out all the runes on a fabric and then sew it down. But cause like some of the embroidery is like coming a little loose, but I don't know, it took forever to do all of them. But yeah, and then the the ends have just feathers sewn to the end. It's just a feather boa that I looped around twice so you can see it. And then I sewed all the ends to the end of the tube. So yeah, that's how you do the boa. So the base of this cosplay is a white push-up strapless bra. Well, actually, um, there is, it isn't completely strapless. I used clear um, straps just to support everything a little bit better. Um, so how I made this whole piece, which is just the bodysuit and like the bra armor, is I used my normal bodysuit pattern. I didn't even do a mock-up. Um, I created like a white bodysuit that was missing a leg and didn't have arms on it. So I put the white push-up bra on and then I put this white bodysuit on and then I took a colored pencil and I um, drew like where I wanted the, the stomach cut out and the side cutouts to be. And then I pinned the bodysuit onto the bra where I, at the top where I wanted it to be. And then I also marked where I wanted the zippers to be. Um, Cause there's one on the front of the leg and there's one on the thigh. So I just like gently marked where I wanted the zipper to be. And then I took it off while it was still attached to the bra. I sewed the bra onto the bodysuit across the top. And that's where um, the bodysuit is attached to the bra and then it, I just finished it across the back which covers the the bra strap in the back and then I finished I cut out all the holes where I wanted them to be and I finished the edges and then I sewed both the zippers into the leg like this and then I just had like a white bodysuit with no armor like a weird incomplete white bodysuit so how I made the armor is I made a tape pattern out of my chest with this bodysuit on and then I took the tape pattern and I like, I added like wings because it's like a winged bra. And so then I, I cut it out onto five millimeter craft foam and then I glued it all together because you know it's curved. And then I took cl foam clay and I added a bunch of foam clay to make these like 3D essentially. 
and I smoothed it out as well as I could at the time. <laughs> and then I, after it dried, I put Warbla over all of it to smooth it out just a little bit. And I added like this detailing right here. And then I covered it with wood glue to make it smoother. And then I painted it all gold with spray paint. And then I used brown or like bronze. Yeah, it was brown to add a little bit of like depth. And then when I was done, I put the bodysuit on and then I took like the boob shells and I very like carefully glued them with hot glue onto the bodysuit so that they were like symmetrical and in the spot that they were supposed to be. And then that's how, that's this. And then the wings, I don't actually have these, like I put them in my garage and I took it all apart so I could store them easier. So this is what it looks like now. <laughs> but um, I'll still explain how I made it. So the wings are essentially a backpack um, based off the centerpiece. So I have to have help putting these on. But I used um, nylon, like um, nylon straps and these will like, it's like using a cheese grater on your armpits and it's not good. So I recommend using something else, but at least it's strong and it's like glued on the back here. So this is the centerpiece. It's two pieces of 10 millimeter Ava foam sandwiched together and all of the wings came off here so there's four on each side and i had them lab labeled a b c d e f g h and so i patterned like four different sizes of like wing base i think that these two were smaller and these two were bigger and then i also so they look kind of like this and then i patterned a bunch of like feather shapes okay i cut everything out and i gave everything an appropriate label so that I could um, match where everything was supposed to go because it gets kind of confusing. Um, the base wing parts are also 10 millimeter craft foam sandwiched together and then the little feathers are only just one piece of um, that because I wanted them to be kind of like this, like where they moved a little bit. So I didn't want to um, double it up. So when you're done, you have four on this side and four on the other. So after I barged that together, what I did was, um, so this was, wing number E, and then here's E up here, it's towards the top. So what I did was I put barge all the way along the edge of this, barge on the ends of each of individual wing, and then to add, you could use something besides popsicle sticks, but this is all I had. Then to add more security, I put, um, I glued, these, these didn't move like this before, but um, I added these popsicle sticks, and then I like slid this down onto here, and then, it was stuck together and then these didn't move at all like at all like i was afraid that maybe they'd fall apart during the convention but it didn't move at all and i whacked these on everything and none of my wings or any of my feathers fell off like it was it was great <laughs> it was pretty heavy but after i put it together you know they're just black wings so then i um i primed it and i sealed it i didn't do a very good job because this was my last piece of the cosplay and i was kind of in a hurry but um and then I painted it white and then I used a white glitter paint and then I tipped the edges of the feathers in a pink glitter paint. And then, yeah, it was done, the cosplay was done. So if I were to redo this cosplay, I would probably just make feather wings instead, but I was kind of on a time crunch and so I based mine off of the figure where she doesn't have feather wings. So yeah, thanks for watching my video on how I made my Angel Woman cosplay. I hope that there was some useful information in here for you. So yeah, peace.